So at this stage, you all know how important it is to rotate your dosing actives. And again, I'm talking actives. I'm not talking products, like I said last week. And I'm also not just talking about rotating your roots of admin. So in theory, you can go from an injectable to a pour on and still be in the same active class. And likewise, you can go from an oral drench to an injectable and still be in the same active class. So what am I saying? Ask your vet. He or she knows what you're using and he or she knows what will work best on your farm based on what they see on the ground and what's going on in their area. A lot of us want to go very comfortable with one product over the years, the likes of an ivermectin pour on. And why wouldn't we? They're cheap, and in housing time you're killing two birds, so you're killing your external parasites like your lice and your mange, as well as your internal worms. So that guy or girl might mean getting away from an ivermectin for a year, going to a white wormer, and that can often mean going down the throat. If you're a one person show and you're going already, get a head scoop. You'll get one, you won't look back, you'll wonder why you hadn't had one before. If you're a two person show, or you can afford to have two people at dosing time, Get yourself one of these. In fact, get yourself two of these. So one hook drencher, an extra hook. Have one person go ahead of you if you're dosing, catching the next animal for you, and that'll speed the job up slightly, okay? When you're catching an animal with a hook drencher, you go in at the side of the mouth, not at the front. Go in here, it's like opening the lock. The corner of the mouth, the jaw will pop open, when the jaw pops open, hook in, the animal starts chewing, they're not going to move then, it's a natural reflex, okay?